while others use art to make sense of tragedy around them. That's what students are learning at Press Pass TV. Press Pass TV, we're a media arts nonprofit organization using video, music, and media production to teach life-sustaining skills to opportunity youth within the greater Boston area. Students at Press Pass are covering the aftermath of the police-involved deaths in Missouri and New York. And we've been going around interviewing people and seeing how they feel about it. We've just been listening to everybody. Before Press Pass, I heard about it, but I really wasn't aware of it. Afterwards, I go into Press Pass, seeing the hearing, the stories of different people whose sons, fathers, cousins, and brothers who were shot by these men that really affected them. I don't understand why people um, refuse to acknowledge that it's about race. People are saying, I can't breathe, like, from when they choke the guy. They're saying, saying a lot, pretty much saying that things shouldn't be this way, like, it's supposed to be equality. But there is equality through storytelling, giving all opinions, all people, an equal opportunity to share. Mike Brown, um, it's a terrible injustice that happened to him. At Press Pass, there's also time for budding TV producers to share their stories. Walking down the street and I just get frisked randomly. I was getting on the bus one day, then they stopped me and hold the held the bus up and everything. It's because I feel like these things have to be said. People have to hear them or they're just going to continue to go on. I'm hoping that the students are learning that there really needs to be a shift in public policy and police protocol, um, that they are able to really use the civil disobedience in documenting these efforts to really create that change that is needed on a permanent level. Then to say to me my child's death wasn't violent, it was to me because my life was silenced. And in addition to their journalistic uh, pursuits, the students from Press Pass TV also help some local companies with video uh, production as well. So they're getting quite an education themselves. Just going to say, there's a lot to learn in asking questions and going out listening to what others have mm -hmm. to say. And an important topic, and it couldn't be obviously more timely. This is part, really, of the fabric of the American experience, but needs a lot of parsing out and a lot of conversation. And that is Chronicle for tonight. I'm JC Monahan, and I'm Anthony Everett. Thanks very much for joining us. Have a good evening. We'll see you again tomorrow night.